What is good with it, YouTube? Fight fans all over the world. It's your boy, The Realist of the Real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real Talk Boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. Joseph Parker versus Deontay Wilder. What an upset. Ah. Uh, in, in past videos about this fight, I stated that this fight was going to be a good fight going to be a competitive fight but because of the power of Deontay Wilder I said that I gave the edge to Deontay Wilder in this fight 60-40 and I also stated that out of the two Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua that Otto Wileen was an easier fight um, for Joshua than Parker is for Deontay Wilder I will say this New Zealand stand up man your boy Parker pitched a shutout now i did a live stream over this fight and the very first round i was like parker standing too long in front of deontay wilder and he's about to get knocked out i just had a feeling that came all over me but guess what it never happened <laughs> it never happened um i want to say this deontay wilder's legs did look better than they did against selenius with parker not stating at all that they were perfect or they looked good at all, but they looked better than this last fight. Parker has, has Parker has been more um, active, and Deontay Wilder just could not detonate on that right hand. Now I got to shout out Andy Lee because I, I I thought that Andy Lee had a horrible game plan. Once I seen him on, in, you know, in the ring on the hand mitts with Joseph Parker, and turns out it was perfect to a T. Um, he nullified the right hand by dipping and leaning to his right, meaning Parker. And for some reason, Deontay Wilder was looping the right hand more so tonight than throwing a straight right hand. And I just didn't understand what was going on with him, man. He wasn't firing off. He wasn't letting his hands go. Um, and I do believe if Parker had a fought with more confidence in the earlier stages of the fight, he could have possibly gotten Deontay Wilder out of there. He nullified that right hand by dipping to his right and also countering the straight right hand of Deontay Wilder with a nice overhand right of him that he, you know, had in his arsenal himself. And he caught Deontay Wilder with that shot a handful of times and rung Deontay Wilder's bell. And I forget what round it was, man. And I knew that um, Deontay Wilder was hurt. But when Deontay Wilder's hurt, he's very hard to get out of there, man. He just he just turns into rubber. Once he gets hurt, he leans way back on the ropes when you can't get him. Um, he's just like a piece of freaking rubber band, bro. Um, I would say Deontay Wilder's legs held up till about the fourth or fifth round. And then they went to the wayside. Um I keep telling people that when you get older, things change. Now, Deontay Wilder is 38 years old, and people were wondering why he couldn't connect with the right hand. People were wondering why he wasn't letting his hands go. First of all, it's because of age. Secondly, he went through three hellacious fights with Tyson Fury that he uh, accumulated a lot of damage in. And three, um, he was trying to react to what Parker was doing rather than countering what Parker was doing. And his timing and his reaction is just not the same as it was before the fights with Tyson Fury and before the fact that he was almost 40 years old. And that's that's a lot of why he could not get Parker out of there, man. And and, and also the plan and, and the, the, the strategy that um, Andy... Uh, Lee gave Parker to carry out and then you know, Parker carried it out to a T. I, I would have loved to have seen more body shots, body attack from Parker. And, you know, I would love to have seen him throwing that throwing that jab a lot more because every time he hit Deontay Wilder with that jab, it, it bothered Deontay Wilder a lot. But I don't care what I say, what he should have done more of or whatever the case, he pitched a shutout. He, he I, you know, the judges had him winning every freaking round. I give Deontay Wilder, if I'm being nice, two, three rounds. And that's it. Two, three rounds. And I remember when the first 
when the first bell rung in the first round, man, I just I really thought that Parker was going to get knocked out. I re, he was just he was just standing too long in front of Deontay Wilder, and I was like, man, he's going to throw a straight round hand and knock Parker out, but just wasn't the case. Uh, very proud of Parker, man. Now Deontay Wilder, I, I commend him for actually staying in the ring to give the post fight interview, and he did conduct himself in a humble manner. But to say he thought he did enough to win the fight was just uh, just far fetched. Are they supposed to say that? I guess I don't know. But if I lost every round, I'm gonna be truthful, man. Yeah, I, man. He just he pissed the shit out. He beat he beat me. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a good fight. It was a really good fight. And what's next for Deontay Wilder? Well, I'll tell you what's next for Deontay Wilder. It's still the AJ fight. That's still the mega fight. Win, lose, a draw. Belts or no belts. Um, but now people can question the performance Deontay Wilder had versus the performance AJ had. Does Deontay Wilder even stand a chance? Because I believe now that Deontay Wilder is different. And I think that a change is going to be there until the time he decides to retire. Um, I think he should do one more mega fight with Anthony Joshua and go and get up out of there, man, while he still has his wits about him. Um, but for the most part, man, it was a good fight. It was a good watch. And um, I'm excited to see the AJ fight because I, I, I really feel like it's still going to happen. It's a mega fight, so people are going to tune in regardless. Did you see this fight? If you did, what do you think of it? Comment down below let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all, fear none, God bless. Till the next time, Real Talk Boxing, I'm up in a mighty. Bye, y'all.